home thoughts, this tweet went seriously viral. You remember that report from yesterday about the stars and how stardust forms about half of us. Nearly half of the atoms that make up our bodies may have formed beyond the Milky Way and travelled to the solar system on intergalactic winds. If you study cosmology like I have done, the cosmic fine-tuning is just plain miraculous. If you want to read an easy-to-read book to get a grip on what I'm talking about, it's called Just Six Numbers, The Deep Forces that shape the universe by Martin Rees. Some of the six numbers should already be familiar to anyone who reads about cosmology, though one is a complete surprise, not because the number is new, but because it is so familiar it had never occurred to me that it was a property that could be any different. One can marvel almost indefinitely at the balance between the nuclear forces and the astoundingly feeble but ultimately inexorable power of gravity, giving us N, a huge number involving 36 zeros, and not gratefully each time one is told that were gravity not almost exactly 1,036 times weaker, then we wouldn't be here. One can gasp at the implications of the density parameter, omega, which one second after the Big Bang could not have varied from unity by more than one part in a million billion, or the universe would not still be expanding 13.7 billion years on. But says Rees, look at it another way. Suppose instead that you were the intended victim of a firing squad and every bullet missed you. You wouldn't be inclined to wonder if something special had been arranged on your behalf. That somewhere in the looking glass world of modern physics, there might be some deeper reason for the providential value of these six numbers. And if there were, would we be smart enough to see it? It's incredible. It's well worth studying. It takes it back to me, that quote I love. We come spinning out of nothingness, scattering stars like dust. And also a Marshall McLuhan quote, which I like. There are no passengers on spaceship Earth. We are all crew. And one final quote on that note, there are dead stars that still shine because their light is trapped in time. Where do I stand in this light which does not strictly exist? Don DeLito, Cosmopolis. I've been listening to the OJ's Love Train. Let me read you some lyrics. People all over the world, everybody, join hands, join. Start a love train, love train. People all over the world, all the world now, join hands, love ride, start a love train, love ride, love train. And I thought I belonged to a different era when we actually believed in those kinds of things, that we were all human beings, and all our uh, destiny was kind of intertwined with each other. And today, when you listen to the language of the politics, it couldn't be more opposite, could it? The House passed a $788 billion spending bill that would start funding the war on the US-Mexico border, point eight. I thank Nairobi Garage yesterday for the opportunity to speak with them. They're just down the stairs here. Um, presentation I made spanned serendipity and its meaning and how we can shape it. Nassim Taleb, Vinod Kosler and his future is not seen in the rearview mirror anymore. 